Hello, our Live Pigeon customers. It's Brandon here, and I wanted to reach out today to inform you of something that happened actually yesterday. Uh, we lost our integration with Facebook. We don't know what happened. Uh, our team has been scrambling to try to figure out what's going on and how we can get this thing back up and going for you. So in the meantime, what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've paused everyone's accounts so no one will be being charged uh, today going forward. Until we can get this figured out, that is one thing I know that we can do. If for some reason you need to cancel your account still, we understand this might not be something that's gonna work for you now. Uh, we totally understand. If you could do us a favor though, if you can keep things still positive, uh, if you need to call us, uh, go ahead and call us and, and address your concerns with us. It doesn't do any good to yell at us. It doesn't do any good to uh, send negative emails. It's just how can we still stay positive and serve you at the same time? Um, this is something that we didn't see coming. This is uh, an unfortunate thing. We're doing the best that we can. And, uh, you know, as the owner of the company, I'm doing what I can to reach out to you to let you know what's going on so that you can be informed. Um, but what I wanted to do right now, actually, is to transition to a demo of how you can actually use Live Pigeon and Facebook still together. There's going to be some extra steps, and it's still not going to be what it was, but you're still going to be able to get your messages live and out to Facebook this weekend and going forward. So just know that the service is free as of right now. Uh, we're going to do what we can to make sure that this is working for you. Uh, everything's still working great with uh, YouTube. And if you used manual stream key in the past, everything's still the same. The only difference is our Facebook integration where we're not going to be able to go live necessarily uh, to multiple destinations at the same time. Uh, there's a little bit extra steps involved, but I'm hoping that this demo uh, at least reassures you that, oh, okay, great, we can still use this service and that we can still take our messages and go live. Um, we do wanna hear from you. Uh, our phone number is down at the bottom, our email's at the bottom. Um, so with that being said, again, we are super apologetic for what's happened. We're doing our best um, to try to figure out solutions to be able to help you to still get your messages out and live. If there's anything that we can do for you, please reach out, let us know. We're here to help you. I hope that you feel that we are here to serve you. Um, I care more about serving you and getting your message out into the world than I do uh, collecting the money. And so, like I said, we're gonna do what we can. Uh, just know going forward right now, the service is gonna be free until we can get this figured out and then we can turn things back on again. But um, anyway, especially during this month of Thanksgiving, uh, let's be grateful for the things that we have and for the tools that we're able to do. Um, let's keep things positive and uh, we can't wait for you to start using Live Pigeon and taking your messages and getting them up and launched and live. Thank you so much for your support and uh, let's jump into this demo right now. All right, so for this demo, I've logged into Live Pigeon and usually I'd come in here and sign in with Facebook. Instead, I'm gonna go to the incubator. It's right underneath the dashboard on the left-hand side. When I click this, this is actually your video library. Some of you probably already know how to use this, but for those that are seeing this for the first time, uh, any video that you've uploaded to us uh, will show up in here. Uh, you can either drag or drop your video files in here. You can click this red up arrow button, or you can upload from Dropbox or Google Drive. Once your video file is in here, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that we have three dots and it says Pigeon Options. If you click on this, we're not gonna go live now and we're not gonna schedule our live video. That would be as if we hit, were connected to Facebook or YouTube. Instead, we're actually gonna click the manual button. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this both ways. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go live now. And I need to provide the streaming URL and the stream key. So I'm actually gonna go over, I have a new tab open in Facebook here and up at the top where normally you create a post, notice that I have a create live button. So I'm gonna go ahead and create live. It's then gonna open up the live producer. I wanna make sure that I'm using a stream key. And right here, this is the streaming URL that you need and the stream key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click copy. I'm gonna go back to live pigeon I'm gonna go ahead and click paste. I'm then gonna go back again to Facebook 
And it might be easy for you to have tabs open um, to be able to go back and forth between these two. I'm going to then paste the streaming URL. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Done. But here's the thing. As soon as I click Done, the video is going to start going live. So before I click that, actually, I'm going to go back here to Facebook. And over here on the left side, I'm going to go ahead and put in my, my title options. OK, so what I wanted to point out is I put in my title, my description. And then down here at the bottom, do you see this button that says Go Live? It's grayed out right now. But as soon as I click Done, I'm now going to go back to Facebook. And as soon as this button turns blue, then I'm going to go ahead and click it. Also, notice over here it says Waiting for the Live Video. So as soon as that comes through, we're going to be able to click Go Live. And notice as soon as it turned blue, I'm going to go ahead and push the button. And now my video is going live to Facebook. So now if I open up, I can open up a new tab now. I'm going to go to Facebook. So that's it, you guys. That is how to take a video that is inside of your incubator and how you can manually send it to go live to Facebook. And so now let's transition and let's go ahead and do another one, but as a scheduled post. So right now I am inside of my testing video page. So you're gonna wanna go live this way to your page or group, but uh, up at the top here where it says uh, create a post, I'm gonna go ahead and click live. When I do that, the live producer will come up and right now it's under the go live now option. So one thing to point out though is I'm gonna click on the go live now to come here to get the server URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy there. I'm gonna go back here to Live Pigeon. We're, we've got the three dots here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click those. We're gonna click manual. And this time I'm gonna choose later. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that same streaming URL that we got from the go live now because under scheduled, it only gives you the stream key. So now we're gonna go ahead and copy the stream key. And we're gonna paste that in here. So I just typed in my time and we're gonna go live this morning at 1030. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. We're gonna come back here and we actually need to make sure that the date is the at the exact same time as what what we did, which was 1030. And that would have been today. We're then going to go ahead and do. And now we can go ahead and click schedule live video. All right. And now I'm done. I've scheduled it to go live at 1030. And so now if I open a new tab and if I go to Facebook and if I go to that page, you can see here that I'm going to be going live at 1030. And if I want, I can go ahead and click this um, pencil icon here, go down to the schedule a live video. If I want, this is where I could actually change out this image. So I can go ahead and select a new image. And so now if I come back here and I click refresh, you can see that my photo has been updated. All right, and just like a cooking show, we'll be back here in a little bit and I can show you how that video went live that was scheduled to go live to Facebook. So here our video is going live right now at 1030. There wasn't anything else I had to do. I was just able to schedule um, and that is how easy it is. All right, so that is it for this video. I just wanted to make sure you understand how you can still get your videos to go live. You can schedule them to go live. Everything's gonna work kind of the same. The only difference is you have to kind of go in there and get the manual stream key, paste that into Live Pigeon, and then you're able to have your video go live. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do to help you. Don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help support you. Um, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for supporting us, especially during this time. As you can imagine, uh, tons of people right now are just trying to figure out what's going on and how to get their messages up and launched and live. So we're here to help you. Thank you so much for your support. Let us know if you have any questions. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for choosing Live Pigeon.